We had trashed the hotel. The hotel was like threatening us. They went to some of the dancers and asked what had happened. Number 10, Neil Patrick Harris voiced Disney's California Screamin'. Anyone visiting Disneyland in November 2010 may have heard a familiar voice. Visitors noticed the safety announcer before the California Screamin' roller coaster sounded a lot like Hollywood actor and Broadway star Neil Patrick Harris. Fans were convinced that grown-up Doogie Howser, MD, was narrating the ride. NPH himself even tweeted a cryptic clue around that time. It didn't take long for Disney Parks to confirm that yes, it was the How I Met Your Mother star's voice. Girl, I will sham rock your world. Sadly, California Screamin' shut down in 2018 to make way for the Incredicoaster, an Incredibles-themed ride. So, Harris's big announcement is now a thing of the past. Number 9. Selena Gomez and Justin Bieber were a couple. You could write an entire novel about the drama between these two child stars. Justin Bieber, you know I'm ahead with the ether. Bums out, wiener, but I gotta keep an eye out for Selena. But back in 2009, everyone was wondering if the pair was a romantic couple or just friends. So, so many pretty faces. You, you, now all I see is you. Frequently spotted together, Selena and Justin played off their relationship, with Selena even calling Justin her little brother. He's little! He's like... No, no, he's like my little brother. I don't... Uh, that's weird uh, to me. It wasn't until they stepped out together at the Vanity Fair Oscar party in 2011 that their romance was confirmed. The pair dated off and on until 2018, when they finally split. Justin married model Haley Baldwin the following year, sparking rumors that she had stolen Justin from Selena. The women have since quashed those rumors, but that doesn't stop fans from speculating about pretty much every move these three make. Number 8. Macaulay Culkin's Violent Parent If you were a movie fan in the 90s, you couldn't avoid seeing this child actor brightening a cinema screen. You're the only one acting up. Now get upstairs. With his iconic role as Kevin in Home Alone and his traumatizing funeral in My Girl, Macaulay Culkin became a household name before he was even a teenager. Unfortunately, this successful career came with a price. Rumors soon began circulating that Culkin's father was abusing his power and overworking his young son. In 2018, Culkin appeared on Mark Maron's WTF podcast and confirmed his dad's physical and mental abuse. I was able to actually like walk away from the business. I even wanted to take a break for a while, and eventually, like, I just was like, I'm done. I'm done, guys. Like, I, you know, I, I, uh, I hope you all made your money because there's no more coming from me. Thankfully, he successfully sued to remove his parents' control of his trust fund. Mom! but he and his dad have been estranged ever since. Number seven, Frankie Muniz is a race car driver. We all know him as the title character from the sitcom Malcolm in the Middle. I've had it, I quit. What do you mean you quit? I quit this stupid system. Or maybe you know him better as Agent Cody Banks, but Frankie's career took a wild turn when he put acting on hold. Many fans speculated that the young actor had transitioned his auto racing hobby into a full-blown career. I'm in the car, on the track, you know, doing the same thing that I was watching as a fan uh, is pretty insane. Munez confirmed these rumors in 2006 when he joined Jensen Motorsport with a two-year driving contract. Since then, he's competed in various racing series and even signed on as a full-time driver with a professional stock car racing team. Could NASCAR be next? This is a dream. This has taken two years to get here. I've been trying to do this for two years. They came on board and made it reality. Number six, Raven Simone is proud of her sexuality. Being in the spotlight at a young age might cause stars to hide parts of themselves. Famous by three years old, Raven Simone starred as the adorable Olivia on The Cosby Show. Wait a minute, who's gonna keep them company? Since then, she's created a successful singing and acting career, most notably on her Disney Channel show, That's So Raven. Good Raven from Down Under. I need you to come to a party at 519 Moran's place. Lickety splitsy, all right? But a tweet in 2013 about the legalization of same gender marriage caused many to wonder about the star's sexuality. Some even considered the tweet as confirmation of her coming out. Raven denied the rumors in several interviews. That was until 2016, when she discussed being a lesbian on the It Got Better docuseries. My awareness of my sexuality was prevalent to me at 12. But there was some things younger in like the 10 single digits. She's now proud of her sexuality and even married her partner, Miranda Madej, in 2020. No more hiding necessary. I look back now, I'm going like, whoa, 
You liked girls. <laughs> you liked them. Number five, Mary-Kate Olsen's struggle with disordered eating. The media can be cruel when it comes to body size. Just ask the Olsen twins. Along with her sister Ashley, Mary-Kate Olsen played Michelle Tanner on Full House, starting at only nine months old. Howie, no go. Howie, yes go. Howie, go back home. Me go. No, little Kimosabi. No can go to Nebraska. Take many moons. Needless to say, being in the spotlight at such a young age brings a lot of scrutiny. As the girls grew up, their thin frames caused the media to speculate about their health. Though the pair denied eating disordered rumors, Mary-Kate entered a facility for anorexia nervosa treatment in 2004 at age 18. Don't worry, we're getting out of here. The sisters have since retired from acting and leave pretty private lives while bidding their fashion empire. To capture an image, freeze time, make a moment last forever. It's all good. After years of attention, it's hard to blame them for mostly avoiding the spotlight. Number four, Demi Lovato's substance use disorder. Now a huge pop star, Lovato's career began as a cast member on Barney and Friends when she was only 10 years old. We love to dance in a very silly way. She then appeared in several Disney Channel favorites, but rumors started swirling in November 2010 when Demi backed out of a tour with the Jonas Brothers after punching one of her backup dancers. I just went up to her and it was like a blur. And I turned around and Demi had punched her backup dancer in the face. Everyone wondered about the reason for her outburst. It turns out that Demi had been hiding long-term issues with substance use, and this incident was the start of years of struggle with sobriety. After an overdose in 2018, Demi leaned even harder into getting and staying clean and announced that she's officially sober via Instagram in late 2021. Number three, Joe Jonas didn't really save himself. It's gotta be difficult for a massive pop star to take up abstinence before marriage. But that's precisely what the Jonas Brothers promised they'd do. At the height of their fame, the Joe Bros decided to wear purity rings to symbolize chastity. The problem was, they also had some high-profile relationships, and everyone wondered whether that purity pledge was sincere. Turns out, it wasn't. At least, not for Joe Jonas. In a 2016 Reddit AMA, Joe revealed that he lost his virginity to longtime girlfriend Ashley Green way back in 2010. When you're about 15, 16, you start dating, mm -hmm. and you go, wait a minute. <laughs> what, did I, what did I say I was gonna do? Thankfully, the brothers can now laugh about the rings, with Joe's wife Sophie Turner even getting a few cracks in. Joe Jonas wasn't just sticking his fingers in some dumb metal rings, he was sticking his fingers in co-stars, actresses, <laughs> and... I'm even a supermodel or two. Number two, Drew Barrymore's wild childhood. Who doesn't love Drew Barrymore? She's had a decades long career in Hollywood since her first film, E.T. at age seven. But in the 80s and 90s, rumors swirled about her being the ultimate wild child. Drew published her memoir, Wildflower, in 2016, confirming many of the rumors. These included attending Hollywood parties with people triple her age, going to Studio 54 when she was only nine, and having a substance use disorder by 12. Not very normal to see a nine-year-old at a big Hollywood party drinking. She even did a few stints in rehab as a teenager. Thankfully, Drew has cleaned up her act and her image over the years. She's now sober, hosts a daytime talk show, and recently launched her own magazine. When I finally let go of that, it made me realize that I was capable of great change that I totally rebelled about. I was like, I will master this toxic behavior of mine. We're rooting for you, Drew. Number one, Aaliyah's teenage marriage. She's been dubbed the princess of R&B, but Aaliyah's influence hasn't stopped her from being followed by a rumor for over 25 years. I'll be waiting there with my trips, my lows, my hat, just so I'm low key. Did she really marry R. Kelly with forged documents when she was underage? What is the deal with you and R. Kelly? Are you all married or not? No, I'm not married. Um, Robert's doing his thing, I'm doing my thing. He's a great producer, great artist, who I do admire. Regrettably, the answer is yes. Aaliyah was 15 and Kelly was 27. The marriage was later annulled and Aaliyah refused to talk about the relationship. Unfortunately, she was tragically killed in a plane crash without ever telling her side of the story. R. Kelly, on the other hand, is paying the price for his many misdeeds, serving 30 years for bribery, sex trafficking, and additional charges. Thankfully, we still have the legacy of Aaliyah's music, 
which continues to inspire artists to this day. 